breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter, Lily, is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Lily? Thank you. I am Lily. Reporting live from Lantern Key, as you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The, the risk of harm to the public is very real and... Lily, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Imogen. What's happening there? Well, yes, it is very tense here. What we can tell you is that these aliens smell really bad, like a mixture of feet in the boys' locker room. It looks like one of the aliens is going to address us through a special translation device. People of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings of the planet Glazar from the galaxy Aliena. We demand from you humans the following things in no particular order. Number one. We want all of your best memes. Number two, we want all of your Doritos. And number three, we want all of your ice blocks. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you all with our laser farts. You have three days, that's all. You have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on tw Twitter using the hashtag OMG Aliens. Currently the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Amelia. Thanks Lizzie. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tenakoto Katoa. People of New Zealand, this is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It's important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour around our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? I think the first thing that we should all be doing is surrendering our lives and becoming their slaves. We can't risk giving them our Doritos and ice blocks. It is too dangerous. We, if becoming their slaves, will, if they, if we becoming our slaves, if becoming their slaves will just will not destroy the planet, then we have no choice. Obviously, that's completely foolish because what we should do is give them all the Doritos and they will not kill us with their fart lasers. No, surrendering our lives will save us, not giving them our Doritos. They are too precious to New Zealand. But the farts are really stinky. We would need some pretty good gas masks. If they are really stinky, then we'll, then we'll have no choice but to give our Doritos. But our Doritos and ice blocks are too precious. We can't risk, uh, we can't risk it. It's too dangerous. New Zealand will become, um, will become very unstable. But if we don't give the Doritos... We will all die. Would you rather eat some delicious Doritos or die? Doritos. I'd rather eat Doritos and Icebox. What about you? Well, so much for the opinion of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country.
what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space attendance for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation to kill us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury, where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to go hide in my basement. Back to you, Lizzie and Abby. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. Our reporter, Amelia, is with that person now. I'm here with Jake, who says he was there once but abducted by aliens. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. The alien invasion must stir up some painful memories for you. What exactly are the creatures from outer space really like? They are green and slimy, very stinky, and they have a very scary voice. How has this experience affected you? It has freaked me out for my whole entire life, and I will never forget it. Finally, Jake, as a person of experience with extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? Hiding and staying out of sight of these evil aliens. They will kill us. Well, Jake, thank you very much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Amelia. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one.